Good morning, everyone. Hey, today we're going to uh, catch up with the Transamerica Trail and intersect with that just north of town here, and then we'll be back on the Tat. We're going to be going from uh, Laverne, Oklahoma to Elkhart, Kansas today. Every morning we have a routine that we go through to get the bikes ready to go. And uh, this morning we stopped off at the local uh, gas station here, convenience store, to stock up on water. We were going to be going through some areas where we didn't think we'd be able to get gas or uh, any snacks. So we uh, made sure we got that before we hit the road. I had picked a spot that was just a little bit west of where I had crashed at to pick up back on the Transamerica Trail. There didn't seem to be any point to go back to the point where uh, there was a bunch of sand and make it difficult for us to get through that. So we started just a few miles west. As we approached this farm, luckily I saw that there was a uh, cow out of the corral and right along the edge of the road, here she is. And uh, that made it a little easier for me to make sure that we didn't have any problems of hitting her by accident. Um, this is just part of uh, traveling out west. The roads here in uh, western Oklahoma are straight and they just head east and west and north and south. Uh, there's not a lot of winding around in most places, but there are sections that you'll go through that are really interesting that have a little bit of hills uh, to them that provide some uh, relief from the long stretches of uh, wide open spaces that you have in a lot of western Oklahoma. We went through this section where there were a lot of hawks on uh, fence posts along the road and uh, they would fly uh, across the road and uh, it was pretty interesting. I'm familiar with like red tail hawks that we had back in the Midwest. I don't know what types they were, but they were beautiful birds. In today's ride, the roads were firm and gravel, and we didn't encounter any of the sand dunes and drifting that we encountered earlier on the Transamerica Trail here in Oklahoma. So it made riding easy and safe.
We stopped for just a short break here and we discovered these burrows. Uh, by the size of them, I would think they would be either groundhogs or badgers. Aren't these wildflowers just beautiful? I don't know if Roy's striking the pose here or if he's just stretching his legs. I think it's the latter. made it to Elkhart, Kansas, and we're settled into our hotel room for this afternoon, this evening. Uh, we got in a little bit early, but boy, did we have some uh, long uh, stretches of just straight uh, roads. I got to tell you, um, the first section that we went through this morning was beautiful. And then as we got closer uh, to the Kansas uh, state line, it just became pancake flat of just straight roads for the most part. Um, the Transamerica Trail did take us to a spot where the road would go right through some sand dunes and we went around those because uh, we're not going to try to tackle sand dunes. It would have been kind of cool if you're on a small light bike, uh, but uh, we went around that. Otherwise, we had a great day and I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it the big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you tomorrow. This is my end of day video. We're in Elkhart, Kansas. Had a great day on the trail. Um, lots of farmland, lots of cows. It was pretty interesting. Our hotel room is right behind this beautiful park. There's a little bridge over there and a swing. So anyway, nice to end of day to a nice day.